live from the O'Hara Construction Studio in downtown Jackson. It's the Bart Hawley Show. I'm David Rice, inviting you to join Bart and his guests. Chairman of the Jackson County Board of Commissioners, Steve Shotwell. From Grizz Chiropractic, Dr. John Griswold. From the Brokerage House, Realtor Jennifer Scanlon. From Marketplace Mana, Al Mellinger with From My Bakery, Harley Larson. And from the Michigan Theater of Jackson, Executive Director, Steve Tucker. And now, here's Bart. Thank you very much, David Rice, and hello everyone, welcome. Great to have you with us today on another beautiful day. We've just had uh, great, gorgeous weather for the last few days, and looks like uh, it's going to continue. We do have several more days of summer. Today, a high of 85 with sunshine. Tonight, 59. Tomorrow, partly sunny, 83 now on Friday. Saturday, mostly sunny, 83 again. Sunday, mostly sunny, 84. Uh, there's no rain now in the forecast. We did have <laughs> earlier in the week a um, chance of rain on Saturday, then again on Sunday night. It's gone. There is not the word rain or showers or storms. Do, do, they do not exist in the weather forecast, at least through next Wednesday and daytime highs through next Wednesday will be in the 80s. So if uh, you waited till now to take your summer vacation, nice planning. Thank you to Kelly Express bringing you today's weather. Kelly Express has uh, everything you need for summer fun as we do have more summer. Uh, great snacks, your favorite beverages, quality mobile gas, and a great deal on the pizza, which is available at South Street, Jefferson Road, Napoleon, Grass Lake and County Farm Road, a large specialty pizza and an order of breadsticks for just $24.99. Thank you, Kelly Express. Also get the uh, pizza on the Slice app and via DoorDash. You don't have to leave the comfort of home. The Skycam looking out and down from the top of the Blake Building a beautiful summery day today and it's pretty uh, low humidity winds are very calm it's just it's just perfect hope you're enjoying it uh, today is the 12th of september another month flying by right before our very eyes today is national blackberry day national chocolate milkshake day uh, national hug and high five day uh lucas uh I'd give you a hug and a high five if you weren't so far away. <laughs> I appreciate it. There we go. Uh, National Day of Encouragement. That should be every day. And uh, Video Games Day and Police Woman Day. So we salute uh, all police women like uh, Samantha Jones. We salute you and uh, everyone serving our community. Today uh, we look back on uh, what has happened on this day in history. 1992, the first African-American woman goes into space. That was Mae Jemison, Dr. Mae Jemison. She was a mission, mission specialist. She was a physician. And she went on the space shuttle Endeavor. She was the, uh, this was the 50th space flight of our nation, uh, of our nation's space shuttle program. And... She spent 190 hours in space, and being a doctor, she was able to conduct experiments on weightlessness, and something you don't hear a lot about, but is a common problem uh, in space, is motion sickness. You can't get out, you can't stop, you can't get off. Those two astronauts that are stuck uh, until next year what do you do if you have motion sickness? What's the pill? It's not emodium, is it? 
Mm, oh, there's some pill. Dramamine. Dramamine. I hope they have a lot of Dramamine. On this day in 1995, the Harlem Globetrotters, they lost. <laughs> they had a string of 8,829 winning games in Austria. They were in the third game of an 11 game exhibition series. They were playing a team of retired NBA stars led by Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. And every Harlem Globetrotters game is scripted for them to win. Well, uh, Kareem decided that uh, they've won enough. <laughs> so he went off script and he creamed them. So uh, their winning ways began the next time. On this day in 1981, The Smurfs by Hanna-Barbera, first broadcast in North America, 1981. They were all the rage for a while. And on this day in 1953, Jacqueline Bouvier marries John Fitzgerald Kennedy. It was the wedding of the year. This much talked about wedding took place in Newport, Rhode Island. Boy, that's a place. That would be a place to get married, Newport, Rhode Island, among the mansions on the sea. At the time of the wedding, John Kennedy was a senator in the U.S. Congress from the state of Massachusetts, and he went on to, uh, well, of course, win the presidency in 1960. A very uh, sought-after wedding invitation to be at that event in 1953. Now, on to uh, Today in the J, brought to you by Experience Jackson. And we have a Thursday night film series presentation tonight, uh, Rear Window. Yeah. What's the uh, entertainment? Do you hear some music okay. going on? <laughs> it's like, yes. Uh, is there another show? Are they filming another show in the studios today? Steve's a little excited to get on the show. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> Uh, we have Rear Window tonight at the Michigan Theater. This is part of the Michigan Theater Thursday Night Member Movie Series. Everyone that's a member gets to see the movies for free. Everyone else is just five bucks. And this is a classic um, movie by Alfred Hitchcock starring, who's in it? Uh, it's uh, Rear Window. Uh, it'll come to me. <laughs> We've got um, Family Fun Night at Apex Sports. It's the final Family Fun Night of the year from five till seven at Apex Sports and Entertainment, 3600 Wayland Drive in Jackson. That's it, Today in the J, brought to you by Experience Jackson. Yesterday, the mommy shower was held at the Henry Ford Jackson Hospital Milk Bank. This was led by OB nurse navigator Michelle Jones. This mommy shower serves as a transformative platform aimed at addressing the unique challenges faced by expectant mothers with social determinants of health needs. This shower ultimately has to achieve um, the DEIJ strategy objective by decreasing maternal and infant morbidity and mortality within our community as you know, we've had, uh, we've struggled with those numbers. The educational components of the mommy shower empowers these moms with crucial knowledge on heart health, breastfeeding, infant safe sleep, labor positioning and movement, along with doula support and advocacy. The knowledge and resources provided foster informed decision making and healthier practices, leading, of course, on to healthier outcomes. The Mommy Shower directly tackles disparities in healthcare outcomes and not only addresses immediate needs, but also creates an environment of care and support. So thanks to uh, everyone who participated in that. And there's uh, really a lot. It's a whole community working to improve our uh, statistics in infant and maternal health. And they are collecting donations to assist with gifts for the participants if you'd like to help, you can contact the Henry Ford Jackson Milk Bank. Yesterday was an exciting time as the ribbon was cut and the grand unveiling of Soar Cafe. 
SOAR Cafe has been a dream of the founder of SOAR, Michelle Cochran, and also Miri Garsha, who's been leading a lot of the uh, fundraising efforts. Miri, part of the, the board. And this is an unbelievable show place. The former Anna's is now the SOAR Cafe, and they will, starting Monday, be serving breakfast and lunch. And at other times, they have uh, a coffee shop. So the coffee shop and a uh, retail shop will be open pretty much uh, all day. And then the, the restaurant portion will be open for breakfast and lunch. Now, you'll recall, Anna's was a gift shop and it had a little cafe. Well, now the cafe has pretty much taken over the whole space that was the gift shop, and you would not recognize it because they've completely renovated and redesigned it, and it looks fantastic. So thanks to, oh man, so many people that uh, had a part in this, and you will be invited. You're invited now to go uh, check it out starting next week. You can shop there, you can have coffee, beverages, snacks, baked goods, and then uh, breakfast and lunch. More photos from yesterday's event at jtv.tv. Allskate uh, is a great spot for uh, parties, and I believe some of the uh, JTV crew went to Allskate uh, yesterday. Did they go skating? I think Sarah, man. Sarah went skating. I think Andy uh, went skating. And you're invited to go skating. In fact, they're suggesting you book your birthday party there. Roll into Allskate Fun Center to book your birthday party today. Reserve your party online at Allskate.net or give them a call at 517-787-8716 to plan the birthday your child will never forget. And it's not just for kids either. Anyone can have a party and it doesn't have to be birthdays. It can be a party for anything. So check out Allskate. Today uh, and every day we have great water in the County National Bank from Tri-County Water. Thank you, Tri-County and the Watts family. And we salute today's sponsor of the day, thanks to East Jackson Schools. Thanks, Trojans, for partnering with JTV and helping us bring great positive community programming to all of our viewers. We have a great lineup of guests on the show today. We're gonna cover a lot of things. First up, we have the chair of the Jackson County Commission, Steve Shotwell. We'll hear about uh, the progress and challenges of our county. We will meet today Dr. John Griswold. He is opening his practice, Grizz Chiropractic, later this month in Jackson, hometown boy who's come back with uh, his knowledge, education, and skill. Jennifer Scanlon will be here from the brokerage house, and she has a uh, property or two that will be unveiled today. We've got My Bakery partnering with Marketplace Mana, so Harley Larson will be here along with Al Mellinger. And then Steve Tucker, he will be able to tell us who is in uh, Rear Window as my brain froze and uh, other things happening at the Michigan Theater later this afternoon. All this and more today on JTV. Great to have you here. And we get started right after this. <laughs> 